hard to trace. They have no serial numbers and you can assemble them with a kit. Ghost guns were popular with the cartels for many years, but now that trend is changing. The News 4 I team's Jordan Elder joins us with the surprising places these guns are now popping up and what law enforcement says you can do about it. Here's our vault right here. Here we go. So these are two examples of privately made firearms. This one is actually a machine gun. This is a ghost gun, or as the ATF calls them, privately made firearms, even though they look a lot like regular weapons. Well, one of the things that will be immediately apparent is there's no manufacturer or serial number on the lower part of the gun. That's Robert Topper, the assistant special agent in charge of the ATF Houston division. He showed us around this vault in San Antonio where weapons are documented before they're destroyed. As PMFs or privately made firearms became more available, they were uh, they were sought after the, the, because they don't come with serial numbers. For a while, this is what cartels wanted. It was a way to get weapons that were harder to trace. Harder does not mean impossible, though. Even though PMFs aren't traditionally traceable, they are trackable if they are used in shootings. Every gun leaves a unique print on the shell casing it fires, including these ghost that guns. That means you can still link crimes committed with the same weapons. But recently, cartel demand has slowed down. The reliability of those guns is still not as good as your regular manufactured firearm, as your uh, commercially manufactured firearms. These days, you can buy kits with everything you need to build a customized but largely untraceable firearm. The ATF says, especially here in Texas, those purchases aren't usually nefarious. Most of the people that make privately made firearms are just making them for personal use, just one, one firearm. They would do that and they, uh, and they don't distribute them. Where the issue arises, Topper says, is when people leave their guns inside cars. San Antonio police estimate more than a thousand weapons have already been stolen from cars so far this year, though it's unclear how many of those were privately made. Michael Waddell, the special agent in charge for the Houston division, says if those firearms end up in the wrong hands. The investigation part of that is absolutely difficult, uh, but that's where we, we pair up with our federal and state partners to develop those investigative leads. There are things you can do to make yourself less of a target leaving your weapons at home instead of in your car, glove compartment gun safes, and park in safe, well-lit areas. It doesn't matter if it's a commercially made firearm or a privately made firearm, we want gun owners to be responsible. The regulation of these ghost guns could go before the Supreme Court later this year. They've agreed to weigh in on a rule that changes how manufacturers and sellers of these kits do their business. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder.